Uh, I'm going to introduce the next presenter who's very special to me. It's my little sister, so be nice to her. If anyone gives her any problems, I'm going to hire someone to do something to you because I'm not violent. Look at me. Are you kidding me? No one's going to buy that. Taylor Abels. good looking fellow and um, my dad when I was 17 the end of my junior year of high school moved away for a job which if anyone knows how close I am with my dad was pretty devastating to me but um, he was following his passion going for a career oh he's an actor <laughs> so that's my dad uh, he was cast in the national tour of the wedding singer uh, that's him as Ronald Reagan uh, and that's him dancing. Um, but my dad, oh, and that's him right there, dance on the end. Um, so this is a big change for my dad, who is an elementary school teacher. Uh, he, you know, has always lived in Fresno, and moving away from me was pretty tough for him. So he decided that he was going to send me a postcard from every city that he went to. Uh, the first one was in New York. They auditioned the show in LA and uh, rehearsed it in New York. Uh, so the first card that I got from him was there. Uh, had a lot of phone calls from him because my dad's not a dancer and the wedding singer is a dance show. <laughs> it's set in the 80s. Um, so Florida was their first stop. Um, I think Gainesville was their first. Um, but he called me pretty much every day because he soon realized that he was the second oldest person in the cast. Um, uh, oh, Fell's point. Um, he, and he says to me, nothing much to do here. Baltimore's beautiful. That's all it said. But, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so he was the second oldest person in the cast. Uh, at this point, he was like 40 when he left, and the oldest person was 72 the grandmother in The Wedding Singer. Uh, so they roomed together. <laughs> Penny was her name, and they loved each other. Uh, <laughs> Fort Lauderdale. Uh, oh, this uh, says, sitting here by the pool on my day off, ah, the life of a touring actor. Wish you were here. Um, Alabama, not my dad's uh, favorite. <laughs> not my dad's favorite, but he did say, uh, uh, sadly, the Birmingham postcard's not as clever or creative. There's a junior Miss pageant happening here at the hotel. It's a little like Little Miss, Miss Sunshine with Southern accents. So, oh, okay. Uh, this was another stop in Florida. They went to Disney World. Um, a little fact about my father is he's a Disney freak, like obsessed with Disneyland. So all of the, uh, the stamps on every postcard are either Disney-related or... Judy Garland. <laughs> That's my dad for you. Um, so it, well, it is. Um, so this is from St. Petersburg. He went to, um, let's see, who's saying things? The Dolly Museum was very cool. Love the postcard. It's kind of bad quality. But um, yeah, so, oh, Lynn's Paradise Cafe. Uh, the reason they went here was because they saw it on the Food Network while they were on tour. And um, they were all obsessed with Bobby Flay. So uh, <laughs> they wanted to say that they had been there. I tried to find a picture of them because they had a really ridiculous one. Um, Churchill Downs. Let's see. Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, nothing too exciting here. They didn't actually go there. It was the only postcard he could find that <laughs> was exciting to him, I guess. So um, Louisville. Loved it. So that was also beautiful. Oh, so this all happened in 2007. Uh, he got a little break, got to come home. These are all of the, I don't know if you guys remember the movie, but um, when they go to Vegas at the end and they like see all the impersonators, spent the new year together, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so then uh, 2008 was upon us and uh, he, uh, let's see. He actually went here, which is shocking to me, because my father's not a sports-goer, race-car man at all. 
Judy Garland postage, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so uh, this is from Miami. They had a lot of stops in Florida. Um, and he apologized for the kind of dated postcard. Um, said, hopefully this will make up for all the cities I missed. Uh, and spring break was just around the corner, but I didn't get to see him. Uh, Graceland. Uh, my dad was never an Elvis fan, but he said that this was like one of the most moving things he had ever seen. They got to walk through and see everything. Let's see. Oh, he said, you're my hunk of hunk of burning love on the back of the postcard. Oh, so he surprised me and came for my high school graduation. Um, yay. I was told that he, he told me he didn't think that he was going to get the time off of the tour. So that's me really excited because I hadn't seen him for like months and months and months and months and months. Um, so, oh, okay. So after the tour, because he ended shortly after that, um, he went to Texas. Uh, to be an Annie, my favorite musical. Um, and so uh, I just thought it would be fun to show some photos of my pretty dad. Um, oh, and then right after that, he uh, moved to Queens in New York. Uh, and he was in Ragtime, and he played Henry Ford. Uh, so yeah, there's him at the bottom, too, yelling. Um, so yeah, now uh, the old man is back, uh, living here, yay! Um, and since I have some time, uh, he has a theater company in town that you should all check out, Stageworks Fresno. Um, and yeah, so there we go, my dad and all his travels. Thank you. <laughs>